Good afternoon, everybody. This is Hunter Mazingo bringing you your daily market insight video for Monday, July 19th. It is a little less than 10 minutes after market close, 4.08 p.m. Eastern time here in Jacksonville, Florida. And today we're going to look under the hood on what appears to be a really bad day in the markets. And that is evidenced by what just happened. You see equities hit hard across the board in the red font there. Um, S&P down over one and a half percent. The Qs held up the best, down 0.8 percent. Dow down over two percent. Mid caps 1.76 percent. Russell down 1.5 percent. So a pretty brutal day. Uh, and actually, we had a strong close. That's actually skewing those numbers a little bit to the upside. Uh, it, it looked a lot worse. I'd say around 3:15 to 3:30 Eastern time. I, I believe the Qs were down closer to one and a quarter percent. S&P was down over two. Uh, so we actually had a nice close uh, to end the day there. Um, we do have a change to market state. Don had it in bifurcation on Friday. Today it is on pullback, and that is because the S&P undercut the 21 EMA. So did the Qs, the Russell, the mid caps, and the Dow also not looking great. So market state is now a pullback. As you can see, there's been some changes to the market trend or the protection gauge as well. Short term, that has been changed from up to neutral and you can see this small arrow here is pointing towards bearish and that is because currently all major indices are either right at or below the 21 EMA. The Qs are pretty much spot on it. We're going to look at that chart in here in just a few seconds. Midterm, it has also been moved from up to neutral uh, as the majority of the indices with the exception of the NASDAQ are below or right on the 50 day. We're going to look at those charts as well in just a second here. Long term, we are still above the 200 day moving average on all major indices. So before we get to the charts and we break down some of this bad action, we look at maybe where some of the money is flowing to uh, on, a, on a pretty hectic, chaotic day like today. Let me reference the team at Revere here. That is me in the middle, Hunter Mazingo. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, anything in regards to what I cover in this video or just in regards to Revere, as a company, uh, what our strategy is, all of that stuff, please send me an email, hunter at revereasset.com. I'd be happy to answer your questions and communicate with you. You can also reach out to any of these guys here, Dan, Tim, Alex, or Don at revereasset.com as well. So let's get into the charts. We're gonna start with the S&P here. And interestingly enough, I mentioned we got a really nice close. You can see S&P down 1.44%. It's a little bit different than the index, but very close. And we undercut the 50 day, so a big gap down here. And ultimately, over the course of the day, reclaimed it. And I'm gonna show you guys a five minute here so you can see what I'm talking about with a strong close. You see here, we held these lows right around 422, pretty much all day that acted as support. And we got a nice strong close here in the last 15 minutes or so. You can see those last five minute candles there. Five minute bars pretty much went from 422, 50, 423 up to 425 in the last 15 minutes. The Qs, the strength today, uh, certainly more or less closed spot on the 21 EMA. You can see they're 11 cents below it technically. Uh, Market Smith is showing 354.78 as the 21 EMA. They closed at 354.67. Uh, also got a strong close and sitting right there on the 21. The Qs are the leader right now, and there's no doubt about it for the better part of the last three to four weeks, the NASDAQ has been leading, uh, particularly big cap growth stocks. Today, we might have seen a little bit of shift, and we're gonna talk about that here in just a moment. IWM and MDY both look pretty abysmal. However, they are staying above the 200-day moving average. They bounce theoretically where they should, kind of right off this 208, 210 level. This is small caps here. You can see ran down pretty much to like 209 and bounce there. There should be some support in that 207, 208 to 210 range, as you can see there, uh, which also corresponds to the 200 days kind of creeping up into that range as well. Mid caps. Pretty similar story, not quite as extended to the downside to where the 200 day is, uh, but ended up closing in the middle of the range. Like I said, we got a decent close, uh, but a lot of the very mid cap or small cap centric sectors, like for example, regional banks, oil and gas really got hit hard today. And that was a big drag on these sectors. And similarly, 
the Dow, <clears throat> the laggard for the day. I mean, that is a quite a volatile bar there for the Dow. I mean, 350 is the high, 337 is the low. That is absolutely abnormal uh, to say the least. But like I said, the banks, the more value oriented place, which is kind of how the Dow is constructed, having a tough time today. And we're going to talk about where some of that money was flowing into, uh, or at least appeared to be throughout the day today. So first, we're going to go through some of the leaders today, some of the stocks that showed extreme relative strength and number one on that list. And it's a position we added to today, one we'd already owned um, in the past and one we had we had sold, taken a little bit of profits uh, and added back to it today. And that is DocuSign. Incredibly strong all day was the standout pretty much from the beginning of the day. Uh, at least in regards to these growth stocks, to through the end of the day. You can see up almost 3%, back above the eight-day exponential. Incredibly strong action from DocuSign today. Secondly, Shopify with a nice close, got back above the 21 EMA and actually back above the eight-day. And that's something I want to highlight really quick here. If you're looking for strength, as you, and as we go through these charts, you'll see this on a number of these. You want to see stocks that, you know, maybe undercut a moving average and got back above that moving average today or got back above a previous area of resistance. Those types of things you want to see, you know, like, for example, shop pushed through yesterday or Friday's high. That's something that you want to take note of. Got back above the 21, got back above the eight. Those are signs of strength and buying demand and these types of names. So Shopify, another one strong today, up 2%. Roku. Similarly, up 2%, didn't quite get back above the 21 EMA, but very close, only about a dollar off. Um, and some a really nice finish here on Roku. Some volume came in as well. Uh, held this 400 level pretty much. It's slightly under. Cut these low, got back above 400 and almost back above the 21 EMA. CrowdStrike, also right back to that 250 level just pretty much sitting right on the 21 EMA, just a tiny, tiny little bit below it, like 30 or 40 cents. And the peer company for CrowdStrike here, Zscaler, actually looking a little bit better here. You can see it ran up to all-time highs here on the 12th, has pulled back, undercut the 21, 21 EMA, undercut these lows, but got back above the 21 EMA, actually got back above the highs of Friday as well, sitting right on the eight-day exponential. And then really the big standout, actually one more before we get to the uh, the big three standouts from today, Cloudflare uh, acting very well. This is owned in Grotection along with Docu. Uh, very, very strong action. Similar story here. Undercut these lows, held the 100 level, back above the 21, back above the eight-day exponential. That is a very, very solid sign of strength in a leading name. And the vaccine stocks really getting a boost with the kind of the COVID scares going on. I mean, <clears throat> this is Moderna up 10%, just been on a monster run the last four or five days here. Uh, BNTX, another vaccine stock up 5%, not quite at all time highs, but still very strong. And another name, Novavax, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also here, I think I mistyped that there, NVAX. Uh, up 12% today, very strong action in these types of names. And, and then in the same kind of breath, not the same stocks or same area, not vaccines per se, but the actual testing component, Fulgent, uh, FLGT, up 10%, back above the 21 EMA, back above the eight day. So these are the kinds of things you want to take notice of. You can see there's volume in these vaccine stocks. There's volume on Fulgent here. Uh, that's what you want to see and you want to identify. And also Chewy. You know, maybe it's because of COVID and people are flooding into the, the stocks that did well uh, when COVID was so prevalent. A little bit of those COVID fears coming back and you see some of these stocks doing well, like Chewy up 7%, sitting right on the 200 day here. Um, and one last leader for the day, Twilio, um, acting well. And so you compare that to names like, for example, Matador, one of the leading uh, oil stocks, down 10% almost today, 9.5%. Um, I mean, it really, just about any sector that you could look at was really getting hit hard today. So we're going to run through a few of those, and then I want to compare them to something. And really, I think it'll be pretty interesting. So XLU, this is utilities, initially opened up like a leader, ended up being down 1.6%. XOP, oil and gas, 
down another 4%. There was an OPEC agreement that came out over the weekend, which certainly impacted this here. ITA, this is the Aerospace and Defense uh, ETF, down 3%. Uh, KRE, regional banks down about three and a half percent. And lastly, XLI, industrial uh, ETF down 2%. So these are your more defensive types of plays and they did not hold up well today. I mean, consumer staples held up okay. That's your XLP. You see that one actually really the strongest of the sector ETFs today. Uh, but what's interesting is when you compare those ETFs I just went through, and then you look at Kathy Woods, ARKK, up 0.6% today. And, I th and you've got above average volume. And this is your smaller um, risk on type of growth stocks here. So I think this is an indication that you're seeing some money flow into these growth stocks, these risk on stocks, like those stocks I went through in the first part of the show here. And then same, same kind of thing, IPO. This is the IPO ETF up 0.66% today. So you're seeing some money flow into these types of names. And that's even further confirmed when you look at IWO down 0.8% today. This is small cap growth compared to IWN, which is small cap value down 2.3% today, or just versus the actual index itself. IWO down 0.8, IWN down 1.4. So there are some signs under the hood that money was flowing into the more risk on smaller growth stocks out of the big big cap tech right you've got apple not having the best day amazon not having the best day but some of the names like i showed you the DocuSigns, the uh the shopify the cloud flares those names had good days while money seemed to flow out of some of the big cap out of value and under the hood we see some money flowing to these smaller growth names so that's going to wrap up the video thank you all for listening uh, I really appreciate it. And like I always say, if you have any questions uh, about any of the stocks I covered, um, anything, please send me an email and I'm happy to respond to you all. So enjoy your week. I will see you guys on Thursday's video. Thanks.